what happens if you pair the Ryzen 7 3700X with the ASRock A320 MHDV. So right now I have the Ryzen 3 2200G, works perfectly. We all know that the Ryzen ser series 1000 and 2000 works, but don't know about the 3000s. I've already flashed my BIOS to the latest update, so let's just unbox this real quick. Alright, so here's the CPU. There you go, Ryzen 7. Here you can see Ryzen 7 3700X. This is a Prism cooler, the RGB one. But I'm not going to be using the RGB cooler since I already have a Deep Cool Gamma X GT. So there, as you can see, ASRock, you can literally see it's a A320M with the such a simple looking motherboard and stuff. So I'll just turn off my PC, as you can see here, again, A320M HDV. Turn off my PC and install everything. Alright, so I just pulled my cooler off and my CPU off. The CPU was literally stuck on the CPU cooler because of the thermal paste. So if you can make it out, um, it's supposed to say Ryzen 3 2200G. There you go. Yeah, it's sturdy. So now I'm gonna clean off everything and I'm gonna attempt to install the 3700X. Okay, so this is the new CPU that I'll be dropping in. As you can see there, A320M HDV. There you go, it's in there, snug. Ryzen 7 3700X A320M, so I'll just pull this down. Well, that's it. So I'll be reassembling everything else, and I'm gonna test in a while, in a bit. I just booted my PC and it immediately posted. Wow, it actually works. Ryzen 7 3700X. The RAM, though. You gotta set it up again, so this supports 3600, so just keep going to 3600. Now, let's go boot. Let's go boot. Save changes and exit. It works, mate. I haven't done the, I haven't like, put it back on the cooler, but it works. This is an A320M, it, it works. The slow one motherboard actually works. So that's the CPU, that's the 2200G. That was previously in the PC. Let's see if it goes into Windows now. Well, there you go. It works. It's pretty easy um, changing the CPU. It's just the, um, the cooler that's pretty fiddly to Workaround. Well, there you go. The resolution isn't native, but yeah, you can switch it. You can switch the. Yeah, no, there you go. It just works immediately. Let me just. Check. So everything looks good. Ryzen 7 3700X, Ryzen 7. Temperatures 50, 52. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. I just added a new thermal thermal paste, so it needs to get up to speed. 16 gigs, so let's check it. RAM speed. Um, there you go. 3600. Well, that's nice. I didn't expect this to work, but all you gotta do is just to flash the BIOS to the latest version, and you're all set. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.